lying at the foot of the Sierra Nevada snow-capped mountains in Andalusia, Granada is a city in southern Spain. With population of about 234,000, it is the second largest tourism destination in Spain. Over 2 million people come to Granada's most visited attraction, the Alhambra, each year. Uh, besides the Alhambra, that is the main attraction, also you find some other buildings in the center, in the city center, as the cathedral, uh, the historical site, the Roy Chapel, and the Albaicín, that is the old Moorish town. Granada is a city where multiple cultures meet since its early history. And in 800-year Moorish reign in Granada, where Jews, Muslims, and Christians coexisted harmoniously, the Catholic rulers reconquered the city in 1492. Muslims and Jews were then forced to convert to Catholicism, or they would be expired from their homeland. Granada, as a religious town, is of course is a Catholic Roman religion. The one we have got there, big number of churches, uh, and, and there are still lots of faithful uh, going to worship, especially on Sunday morning masses. Uh, but also, we have that uh, an important Muslim community. The Muslims uh, are growing lately in the town of Granada. Their percentage is very little, but the number they would have there will be between two and four thousand Muslims, uh, and then we have got a mosque. Granada is one of the few cities in Spain with an active mosque, with an active Muslim mosque. It was opened for the public recently in 2003, the first mosque after more than 500 years. Under the prosperity of this famous tourist city, various cultures struggled as they converged and collided with each other, apparent in the Alhambra Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the place where many Spanish rulers, from the Sultans to King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella governed. I think that's a very interesting mix of styles. The Nazrin Palace, it, it looked amazing. And the, the details, it is incredible. You can just imagine how it was made. Because of that, Granada attracts a considerable number of students and scholars from all over the world to study religion and other disciplines here. Learning about Spanish culture and some type of religion within like different areas as well. It's been a very diverse religion. Yeah, there has been um, Muslim, Christians, and Jews. Thanks to the large number of tourists who visit this 34 square mile city each year, the service industry benefits greatly. Quaint hotels, inns, and now also Airbnbs can be found on almost every street, where the romance of tapas drift out of the hundreds of cafes and restaurants. Souvenir shops, too, selling Arabic wares, line the Albaicin. All shops are the same, in the same street, so I'm here, I'm sitting in my door and anybody can be in, and want to be inside welcoming them, able to be talk to him in Spanish or French or in English or a little German. <laughs> Mohammed came from Morocco to Granada when he was 19 and has opened his shop for nearly 20 years. Granada makes me welcoming and I'm still enjoying it. This is Granada, a city of diversity, convergence, and compromise. This is Granada, a city that doesn't sleep. Its peacefulness, like the breeze floating through the castle of Alhambra. Its sensuality, like the flying tassels on flamingo dancers' dress. Here is where our stars begin. <laughs>